These are the vocabulary words for lesson one of our story. There are six vocabulary words for each lesson. Our first one is bothered. Bothered is something that you guys have probably all experienced at some point or another. Those of you that have a little brother or a little sister have probably been trying to play before and had your little brother or your little sister start messing with your stuff and you get mad and you go, Mom, he's bothering me. Uh, recently, I had a time where I was bothered. I was at my house and I was working on my front porch where I have flowers. And I'd gone out there to water my flowers because, you know, if you don't water them in the summer, they'll die. And as I was out there, from up on the top of my roof came this big, scary, stinging bee. And it was flying all around. I ended up throwing my arms all directions. I had hands going this way. I had hands going this way, trying to keep that bee from bothering me. Because I didn't want that bee to sting me. And he just kept on dive bombing my head. I ended up basically running away from it to get away, uh, to keep him from getting me. But you guys have possibly been bothered by a bee or a wasp before. You knew you probably looked somewhat like a ninja when you were fighting. That's what I was doing. I was running away and throwing my arms around because that bee just kept on bothering me. I want you to stop this video and draw a picture or act out what it looked like when you were being bothered by the bee. Did you throw your arms around? Did you run away? Maybe you can draw a picture of some time that you were being bothered by a bee. Or maybe even a time you were being bothered by your sister, your brother, a little cousin, maybe even a friend that was just really bothering you. The next vocabulary word is distance. Distance is the difference from one place to the next. How close you are to something. If you see something that's in the distance, it is far away. I went to Colorado a couple years ago, and as we were driving in on the road, the road was kind of curvy, but as we were driving in on that road, in the distance, I saw these big mountains. And they looked, they were just massive. They were huge. And I thought, wow, you know, we're getting close to those mountains. But it took us almost four hours to get to where they were. They were just that big. We could see them in the distance. They were pretty far away from where we were at. Uh, right now, where I'm standing or sitting up here in the front of the room, I am at a distance from the door to our classroom. You are all at a distance from the door of the classroom. You are far away. Think about distance being far away from something. If you see it at a distance, it's far away. Draw a picture of yourself standing far away from something like a sign or a tree or maybe even your house. Maybe in your house you can pretend that you are at a distance from something by getting up and walking away from it. Stand at a distance from your mom or your dad. A distance means you are far away. Did you want me to say? The third vocabulary word we're studying is form. Form means to make something. If you make something from clay, or even if you make something from... Uh, paper, you are forming it. You are creating it. Uh, when I was at your age in school, they gave us these round balls of clay. Think of clay. It's like modeling clay. I formed mine into a bowl. And I gave that bowl to my mom for uh, a present. I don't remember if it was Mother's Day or what. But I had made the bowl out of clay by forming it into its shape and then painting it and letting it dry. You guys are all going to get the opportunity to make something starting from a ball of clay 
at the end of the year. I'll give you a ball of clay, and then you will take the time to form some type of animal from it. It might be a horse. You might decide to make an elephant. But you will form from clay a shaped animal of some type. And then you'll paint it and you'll get it, let it dry. And then you'll get to take it home and keep it forever. To form something means to make it. Clay is an object like Play-Doh. And there's lots of things that you can make or form from a Play-Doh or clay. Think of some time that you played with Play-Doh and something that you formed. Stop this video and draw a picture of something you formed with clay. Our fourth word is instruct. This is what I do every day. If you instruct someone, you teach them. Every day I come in and every day I do some type of lesson. A lot of times I'm standing in front of our smart board. And it may be, maybe I'm teaching you math, like the lesson yesterday, where I was teaching you about how you can change the order of add-ins, and it doesn't change the sum. The sum stays the same. I was instructing you in math yesterday. To instruct means to teach. Maybe some of you guys have had somebody else instruct you. Maybe your dad or your mom taught you how to ride a bike. If you learn from them teaching you how to ride a bike, they were instructing you on how to do it. Anytime that you're learning to do something, someone is teaching you, they are instructing you. To instruct means to teach. Stop this video and draw a picture of me teaching you or instructing you of something that we have already learned this year. It could be the SLB chart where you're learning that your left hand is your beforehand and your right hand is your afterhand. Maybe you want to draw a picture of me teaching you how to take a spelling test. I have already taught you many things this year, and every time I did it, there was a time that I stood up and gave you instructions. I was teaching you how to do it. Our fifth vocabulary word is perform. I used to have to perform a lot. And the reason why is because when I was a little girl, from the time I was young, I had to learn how to play the piano. And my mother had put me in lessons when I was younger, and we would have recitals. And in the recital, I would come in and I would have to stand by the piano for a moment and say, you know, my name is this, and I am going to be performing a song for you. And I would play, sometimes it was something by Mozart, sometimes it was something that was just something fun, but I would perform. And when I say perform, that means that there were people in an audience there to listen to me. Some of you have performed before in our We Really Shine program. You also performed at your kindergarten graduation. You stood up in front of a crowd of people and you sang songs. And those people came and watched. And after you were done, they gave you a round of applause. They clapped. I used to do it when I played the piano. Some of you may play the piano, but all of you have done some type of performance where you performed in front of an audience. I want you to stop the video, think of a time that you have had to perform, and draw a picture of it on your paper. The last vocabulary word is supportive. Supportive is kind of a, a funny word for first graders to learn. Um, you all know how to be supportive. I've seen you. Earlier today, I actually got to see Landon be very supportive to Andy. Um, Miss, Miss, <clears throat> excuse me, Miss Sanford said that as Andy was walking to the cafeteria, that he fell down. And when he fell down, I guess he fell on his knees, <coughs> Landon came up, and the first words that came out of Landon's mouth were, 
Oh, Andy, are you okay? Landon was being a supportive friend when he did that. He was concerned that Andy was hurt, and he was being nice and supportive. He wanted to show that he cared about his friend. If you are supportive with somebody, you care about them. You believe in them. You want to make them feel so much better when they're not feeling good or they're not feeling happy. Um, I want to be a supportive teacher. Uh, today we were talking about how you guys were so smart, and I was letting you guys know that because I think it's important for you to know how smart you all really are and that I believe in you. When I say that I believe in you, it means that I believe that you can all make good grades. I believe that you can all be somebody very special when you grow up and that I am here to try to help you do that. Okay? I want you to think of a time that someone's been supportive of you and they've made you feel like they really cared. And Draw a picture of that now.